G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. Alright, I hope wherever you're watching from, I hope you're having a happy, happy Sunday. I hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, I've definitely had a bit of a more of a quieter weekend this week because last weekend was the long weekend and, you know, had family and friends and it was just, it was a nice time and I... And I hope, you know, this week has been successful for parents because I think most schools, I think, have gone back this week. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so that's that's always fun for parents, right? <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't really have much in the form of showing and sharing and doing, but I do have to take out some money because last week, as you would have seen, I took out money for two tires. Now, long story short, or I'll try and make it as short as possible, my mechanic told me I needed to take out, you know, replace two front tires. I've gone to the tire place and the tire place has said agreed, but said they also recommend I do the back ones because they were also a bit worn as well. Um, but at the time I just thought, no, nah, I don't know, you know, I'll just do the two and I'll go home and think about it. and. I don't know why I just didn't get it all done at the time, but you know me, I don't know. So I went, I called them back and I said, do you mind doing two more tires? And they fit me in. So I have to take out money for two more tires. Um, so they were 175 each, so 350. And then they also recommended since I've done all four to do the wheel alignment, which is 50 bucks. So I've also opted for that. So I need to take out $400 from my car fund. So happy days, not. So I'm going to do that, but because I have mostly prop notes in there now, um, I'm going to have to, to do things a little bit different. So because I need to take out $400, and as you can see, I've either got $200 in cash or I have a 1,000 prop note, um, I'm going to take away the 1,000 prop note and I'm going to put back in $600. So one, two, three, four, five, fifty-six. So I'll pop that back in there. So now I have a total of 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 57, 58. So $1,800. Let me just write this down before I forget. Minus 400. And today is the fourth. So I have 1,800 bucks. And this is just another reason why I kind of keep my threshold at $1,000. This is because... Um, then whoop, <laughs> then most of the time I will have cash. It's just unfortunate that I had taken out all that money recently. Otherwise, I probably would have had enough cash just to take it out. I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I had to go back to the ATM, get the, the, the money out and that way it's, it, it just works out this way, unfortunately, because I try and avoid doing that. Like, so then I'm just always got the cash in the house to be able to cover the card spending. Um, so anyway, that's all sorted. I've taken out the $400 from the, from the account basically. Um, so now I only have the one prop note in there. I hope that's all made sense. Um, <laughs> I hope, but I hope, you know, you guys have had a really nice weekend. I do really like when you guys let me know what you got up to. So I always like to end with letting you guys know what I've watched this week. Uh, so this week I watched the movie, The Creator. Finally, it's been out for ages and it's just been on my list to watch. And I finally watched it. It's really good. It's humans versus AI. And, you know, it's just a really interesting, cool concept. Definitely give it a go if you like those kind of movies, those sci-fi movies. Um, I can't remember what channel it was on. I think it could be either Disney or Prime. I'll put down below where I watched it. I completely forgot. Next up is Saltburn. Okay, so I finally watched that one. Um, a few people have actually reached out and said, have you watched that yet? Don't watch it with your parents. <laughs> Um, so I finally watched it and yeah, it's definitely an unusual uh, movie. I actually didn't mind the concept. It's very much like that bride's head revisited a little bit, but then added a thriller aspect. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't actually mind the movie. Yeah, there were some cringe scenes that you just make you question, what am I watching? Um, but, you know, the acting was amazing, especially from the main actor. He is so good. I've seen him in a few things and he does that socially awkward personality really, really well. Um, loved it. Really enjoyed it. But yeah, there were some questionable scenes that you know make the movie a bit like what <laughs> anyway don't watch it with kids obviously it's not a kids movie but don't watch it with 
teens don't watch it with your parents watch it just watch it by yourself <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say um and then the next movie i finally watched was rebel moon because that came out a couple of weeks ago if not a month if not more i can't even, i don't even know when it came out i've just been on my watch list to watch for a while and it's not bad it's like a star wars meets dune meets the matrix again sci-fi a bit I didn't mind it, the acting wasn't great, the writing wasn't great, but you could definitely tell it was the same director who did the movies 300, because if you remember in that 300 movie, you know when they fight and then it just goes slow-mo for like a swing or something? That kind of technique is very heavily used in this movie and you're like, yeah, it's definitely the same director, you can tell. And then last thing, okay, I've been watching a bit this week. So I've watched the first couple of episodes of this TV show called Platonic, which is over on Apple. Um, I actually didn't mind it. It's got Rose Byrne, which I love, Aussie actress, but let's, she's kind of doing more and more American stuff that she sounds really American-y now too. Um, but it's funny because sometimes she'll say something like, eh, that's your Aussie accent coming out. <laughs> um, and of course, Seth Rogen. And those two have such great chemistry together. They've done, what was it, Bad Neighbours together. And then I think I've seen them in something else. I can't remember what. But yeah, I didn't mind that show. And I'm really enjoying the concept. So those two were best friends in their 20s. Uh, then they've kind of fallen out and she's gone got married he's gone and done his own thing and then in their th mid 30s late 30s they've kind of reconnected and they're becoming friends again um and not that it was ever nothing more than friends uh but it's how the family kind of interacts with this kind of reunion so like the husband how he's reacting to it um and his friends I'm just really enjoying it. It's very lighthearted, even though it sounds deeper than what it is. It's very lighthearted. It's funny. Um, yeah, I really like it. And if you're on, if you've got Apple, definitely give the first episode a go and see if you like it. I didn't, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to continue watching that one. So that is it. That is my weekly wrap up. Woo. So a lot of movies this week, a lot of TV this week. Let me know if you guys have watched something this week, if I should be watching it. Um, I love when you guys give recommendations because I do add it to my watch list then. <laughs> I do. So let me know down below what you've been watching. Um, so yeah, take care. Happy Sunday. And I'll see you tomorrow for my cash stuffing. Bye for now. Bye.